Okay, you guys, so we got our food from Panera, our items that we've never tried before. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, from just observing super quick, because um, we had to do a thumbnail, mm -hmm. it looks really good. It does. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. We got one, two, three, four, five food items mm -hmm. and one drink item. Exactly. It's on Honestly, it's almost like the only six items we haven't tried. I know. I mean, there's a few other things, but for the most part, like, this is it. Yes, yeah, so yes, you guys, crazy. yes. Like I mentioned, I love Panera, and so, yeah. like, I really have yes i've been in here for what 20 years yeah 25 <laughs> years you know but there it's crazy that there are still some things i haven't had yeah that makes sense. right and you too you're yeah, not oh, as adventurous with panera not at all i yeah. get the same stuff over and over yeah and i haven't been going here for 20 years either i just started liking panera kind of in the last like two years yeah since we have our, we've done our channel <laughs> exactly so let's try with the start with the drink before it kind of like gets warm and melts cool. um Perfect. so it's the peach blueberry smoothie and it's made with almond milk so mm. we thought that sounded really good i've never gotten a smoothie yeah. uh from panera before ever would you like to try it first? Uh, yes, I would. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I feel like you're like skeptical. Of this no, one. no. I think it's going to be. It's a weird color. Yeah. Almond milk. I know it's going to taste like because I've made a lot of smoothies. I've used almond milk, especially we used it like, remember when we were in LA? We made uh -huh. all these smoothies. We did. We used to be smoothie and, people. Yeah. So I have a feeling I know what it's going to taste like. Mm. Does it taste like the smoothies we used to make kind of? Okay. No, it's anyway. anything. Mm. It's very interesting. It de right. It definitely n is nothing like I think we've ever tasted. Definitely not. You wouldn't think. I wouldn't think that peach and blueberry goes together. And in a way, it kind of does. doesn't. It doesn't, but it does. <laughs> right, exactly. It's a weird flavor. And then you have the almond milk mixed in there. It's a very unique drink. It's, it's re very refreshing. Yes. Mm -hmm. It seems like it's it's complex, if that makes sense. It's like yeah. a complex smoothie. I like it. Well, the peach gives you kind of that, like, sour vibe to it. You know what I mean? Not sour, but, like, bitter. That bitter vibe a little bit. You know what I mean? But the blueberry is there, too, to kind of coat it just a little bit. Does that make sense? Peach should be sweet, though. Yeah, but something's yeah, but something's giving it kind of like a, a bitter. I know what you, mean. you know what I mean? I thought that was the maybe blueberry. Maybe it's the blueberry doing that. Okay, maybe it's the reverse. <laughs> maybe the blueberry is giving you a little mm. bit of that. Mm bitter type of you got like a yeah you got a sour in there which is weird mm -hmm. but also a little sweet mm. and then it's almost like it's like not it's almost like the peach and the blueberry mixed to make a different fruit yeah which we can't describe <laughs> but it's like a sour fruit yeah and then you have the almond milk yeah but it's good it's good the more I drink it. It was like five bucks, which I don't think is worth it, but that's what it <laughs> That's true. Yeah. The more I drink it, the more I do like it. Um, at first, it was a little bit of a kind of like confusion because mm -hmm. there was a lot of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm used to it, it's pretty good. Yeah. <clears throat> what do we give it? Five out of ten. Or one out of ten. One out of ten. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, you ready? Yeah. All right, cool. One, one two, two, three, three seven and a half. Okay, cool. Yeah, I kind of like it. Yeah. Kinda okay, like it. so you're a fan. I, yeah. I'm okay. I, you know... It's okay. I can go with or without it. Yeah. You know, it's okay. <laughs> Let's try this food though. Okay, cool. Okay. So, do we want to start with the grilled cheese since I start have it open? Start with the grilled cheese because I feel like that's a perishable okay. item. Yeah, and it needs to be hot. So. Yeah. <clears throat> that's what I meant. Oh, that's what you're saying. <laughs> okay. I don't know what you mean. I'm like perishable. Ooh, I'm like, yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, we never had the grilled cheese. I always considered like a grilled cheese like a. I mean, I don't want to, no, no offense to anybody, but you know, I just feel like kids get the grilled cheese, you know, oh, there's it. a lot of adults that get this, but I never S order grilled cheese. See, I see it as you can't just have a grilled cheese by itself. Uh, you need it with the soup. Definitely. Like you need it with that. You know what I mean? Unless yes. you're trying to do something quick at home. Yeah. That's different. No, you, you know? could totally do this with tomato soup. You're right. You know for sure. Mean? But I just never order grilled cheese. But I have to say, look at this. Looks good. Look at this. <laughs> it's a lot of cheese. And the bread is really thick. You know, oh, yeah, the soft. bread's really nice. So, let's do it. Let's give this a shot. It's still warm. Exactly. Okay. Grilled cheese. Let's see what type of cheese it is, too, because I don't even know. <laughs> mm. Tastes like American. Mm. Mm. Am I wrong? Mm -hmm. I think you're wrong. Really? I thought it was cheddar. Maybe it's American. Tastes like American to me. 
I, do, I, I could not wrong. tell the difference in cheese. You can? I didn't even nope. know you could. So. I can't. <laughs> okay, let us know if they use American or cheddar. Mm hmm. Because it does have the creaminess of American. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe it is. I love how much it's cheese they put in this thing. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's kind of the tough thing with grilled cheese sandwiches. If you have a thick bread, mm -hmm. you got to put more cheese in there or else you're eating too much bread and mm -hmm. it's not really that great. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So yeah, they did a great job. They even put so much cheese on here, guys. This It got stuck all to that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's in a wrapper. So, so you need soup with this, you know, but I'm just, but I'm reading the grilled cheese by itself. Mm -hmm. Love the cheese ratio. Ooey mm -hmm. gooey. This bread is very delicious. Mm -hmm. They toast it so you get like some like kind of toasted um edges. Yeah, what's it called? The crust. Crust, thank you. Oh. <laughs> toasted crust pieces with a soft inside mm -hmm. and then a gooey, chewy cheese. Good. Really good. They did. They mm -hmm. did a good job. And by the way, can also um maybe you know this, unless mm -hmm. if not I'll, I'll ask the fam. Mm -hmm. Um do they all of their sandwiches, they're not pre-packaged, right? Right. Or at least this sandwich. They make it. They actually make it there on the on the grill and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. That's good. I like it. Mm. Let's rate it one out of ten, then, right? Mm. Okay. Okay. I'm ready for it. Mm. One, one, two, two three, three, seven, seven and, and a half. half. Yeah. Very good. It's good. It's very good. You know what? I would want to huh? add. I think like if I am gonna like dazzle this up, I would add tomatoes to mm. this. Um. I I don't know. Tomatoes. <laughs> well, that's why tomato soup. <laughs> yeah. Works well with this. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, some water. Yeah. Cleanse my palate. You know what the problem with adding tomatoes though to grilled cheese, in my opinion, is it cools it down a little bit. You know what I mean? It makes it not as stringy when you pull it. You know yes, what I mean? Yes, you're definitely. I would not have expected you to want. Yeah, I don't want tomatoes. Tomatoes <laughs> and your grilled cheese, but. <laughs> to me i think it like makes it look prettier yeah that's cool you know to each their own okay we're gonna try the soup all right let's do it um let's open up this i got you oh, oh thank you baby well i guess <laughs> i guess i'll just hold it for you <laughs> okay so this one is the thai chicken soup only soup we've never tried before you guys and i would have never tried it had Ooh. it not been for this video I do love thai Ooh. but just something getting that from like panera it just doesn't sound good it probably is good though. You got I'm not gonna it. Lie. No, yes. It smells really good. It smells really <laughs> good. Like, I yeah. do have to say off the bat, just the aroma. It smells like when you walk into a Thai restaurant. Yeah. Honestly, it does, but it also smells like it smells different. It doesn't fully smell Thai though. I don't know what it smells like. But it smells Thai. Like, I could smell like the. Oh, okay, let's just try. It's it. Thai. <laughs> how much? How many Thai restaurants have you walked into? A lot. I go there all the time with girlfriends. That like, is not true. Lunch. I don't know when the last time you went. Listen, you I lunch. okay. Well, since we moved here, I haven't. But listen, I've gone to. A lot I used too. to. Mm, I did. I, I used I've to go to them all the like, time. Hell, the Thai restaurants. Okay. Me too. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's try it. Out. Mm, here, you go first, just because it's. No, so I want hot. you to go. Okay. First. Okay. Okay. We'll talk. Oh, do you want me to do it because it's too hot? Yeah. No, I got it. Yeah, you got this. Okay. You got this. Um, I do have to say, so it's a, it's a little thick. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just kind of saying the consistency, but not like yeah. too thick, you know? Yeah. Um, so that's good. Like, it seems like it's going to be hearty. It's got a, I can see the chicken mm -hmm. and I can see like all the veggies in here. Nice. And lots of spices, so. Now I'm wondering too, there's soups. Do these come prepackaged? They probably come maybe in a container or a plastic thing or something like that and they probably just heat it up I'm guessing. Yeah I think the soup they make it like the factory and just they bring it over and then they just heat it. Exactly it's For actually sure. a lot of chicken. That's my guess Yeah no I see what you're saying. If you guys know if they make the soup in house let us know but I have a feeling they don't. Because the soup has to be like super consistent you know. Mm -hmm. I, know what it, I know what it smells like now. What does it smell it like? It tastes like <coughs> excuse me it tastes and smells <clears throat> like when you get frozen Thai food from the uh, refrigerated section, mm -hmm. and it's just some company just making it on their own, and it, it's not—it's never quite like a real Thai restaurant, but it has a, a de fairly decent Thai smell. But it's—it's it's just not quite the same. That's what this tastes like, and actually smells like. You know what I'm talking about? I do. Yeah, like it's—it's—it's it's, it's good, but it's not 
you're not getting this at a restaurant. If you go to a Thai restaurant and it tastes like this, you should leave. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it's not authentic. Yeah, it's not authentic. It's like a little generic yeah. Thai stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? So, what I'm, I don't love it. Yeah. At all. It's not great. No. It's not great. It, it, you know, it's funny because it's like. Yeah. It has a lot of flavor in here, mm -hmm. but it's also like generic flavor, like yeah. as Jamil is kind of saying. <laughs> It's, it does, and actually there is oh, even a second of me eating it, it's okay. But there's a moment where you feel like, oh no, this is going to be really nasty. Like yeah. as you're tasting it and then it goes away. The nastiness like goes away. Mm -hmm. But in the beginning you're like, oh, whoa, do I have to spit it out? And then you're like, no, I don't have to spit it out. Do, yeah. you, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do know what you're saying. There is a little bit of like some sort of weird taste going on at mm -hmm, first. Mm -hmm. But it's ultimately, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. You know, I don't think... Panera really has much of things that are like just like bad. It's mm -hmm. just kind of nothing special, I would say. Right. I would even say just um, the chicken's a little dry. Um, there, it, it seems to be that they, whatever the Thai seasoning is, they really okay. just. No, okay. I just wanted to show you the consistency. Oh yeah. You know. Whatever the Thai seasoning is, they obviously threw it in there without doing. I feel like much else other mm -hmm. stuff to it. So it's okay. Yeah. It's all right. It's 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 mm -hmm. just pretty basic for the most. There are so many good soups yeah. from Panera. This yeah. is definitely the last mm -hmm. I would do. The yeah. broccoli cheddar soup, mm -hmm. that um, cream of chicken with the wild rice. I love that one. Yeah. Right now seasonal, they have the Mexican corn chowder soup. They oh, have no. so many good. You like the tomato? Oh. You love the tomato oh, so there's so just good. yeah no the, yeah the ties <laughs> okay let's rate the tie okay cool so, and tie tie. um yeah let's do it one out of ten then right okay 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 i'm ready one, one two, two three, three five out of five five no five point five what'd you <laughs> i was gonna say five out of five <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I heard five we, out of five. Yeah, exactly. It didn't sound right as I was saying it. And I was thinking, I was thinking, some, I was thinking about something with Yelp. So I'm like, anyways, five point five was my answer. Okay, and I said four. Four. I'm being harsher. I know. I know. You really hated it. <laughs> well, I have my like go tos from yeah. you know Panera, so, and those are like hella good to me. So yeah, yeah, these it. are missing for sure. Exactly. Um. Yeah. Should we try uh, the salad or tuna fish? Let's do the tuna. All right. Let's do the tuna. Let's do we it. We have three more items. Okay. So, again, we looked on the um, sandwiches, and we've gotten every single sandwich except, except for tuna. <laughs> well, and the grilled cheese. Oh. And that grilled yeah, cheese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Jamil does not. No. <laughs> You're I showing love. The tuna. Okay, let, let me. That looks Good. Let me explain this. Before you go in negatively, this looks amazing. I love tuna fish, guys. I used to eat it all the time when I was younger. I love it. My mom used to hook it up. It was amazing. My dad, too, he used to hook it up. It was amazing. It was all good. Now, the reality is a lot of places, not all tuna fish is created equal. And a lot of places I've gone to in the past just don't really make it great. This looks like one of those places. Oh. To me, it looks a little wet. Okay. It looks mm -hmm. not really much in here. And I like a hooked up uh, tuna fish with a lot of different things in it. Yeah. So, you know. But, Jamil loves a lot of ingredients in his tuna. So that's true. But you know what? It's all about how does it really taste. It comes with a sad looking pickle. <laughs> it's like, save me. Looks save me from life. That's I've been right. weathered. <laughs> yeah, this pickle looks sad. Okay, but it comes with a pickle. Exactly. But okay. once again, it's not about my opinion. It's all about how this tastes. Look how big this is. It's a good size. Yeah, these, yep. yeah, these two halves are huge. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try this. I think it looks good. Okay, cool. But, you know, then Jamil does it, but let's try it. Okay, yeah. cool. Lettuce, tomatoes, and um, onions. onions, and the tuna fish. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. I think I snorted. This is awful. I think this is like white people tuna. This, this is one of the worst tuna fish sandwiches I've ever had. Hell of them. Swear. I swear. No. There is no seasoning to this tuna fish. I think there is. There, no, not <laughs> much. If there is, if there is, there's not much mm. at all. Mm. I can't even take another bite of this, guys. Mm. I can't. Okay, so let I me tell you what I'm tasting. Please. 
explain because <laughs> I can't even do it. Okay. Well, terrible to me. I love the, they definitely put a good amount of mayo. Yeah. Which I think you really need in a tuna salad. Mm -hmm. Um, Hold on, let me see if I taste seasoning. Mm. Man. I will never, on. ever eat that again. Come on. <laughs> There's no seasoning I don't in there. Think what they you're put eating? Else no, in. they didn't put anything else in there. They didn't put <laughs> pepper. They didn't put any. You don't need salt, but they didn't put anything in it there. It might be salt. Maybe there's salt. I don't know. Yeah, I like <sighs> it. I think it's really good. There's no seasoning I'm, in there. Nothing. Sometimes with tuna, I feel like all you need is like some salt and mayo. Look, you need some pepper in there at least. And, and I love pepper it. hooks it up. Put then you could do like mustard in there, and then if you want to get crazy, start hooking up with some stuff. Put like a boiled egg in there, <laughs> do some dill in there, or is it dill? I don't know, I haven't made it in a while. Maybe not dill. Uh oh, you okay? Well, here, napkin. Oh, hold this for you. Yeah. Oh, God. What happened? Oh, the pickle. I told you. Oh, is the pickle really bad? Oh, my God. Oh, they did it again. Oh, God. <laughs> they did it again, you guys. Oh. It's deja vu. Is it? Remember that time they gave you the egg? The bad egg, the bad hard boiled egg. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what? That pickle looked like it's been weathered. <laughs> it's, it looked like it's been through the, the ringer in life and it, it tastes like that. Wow. I don't know why I ate it. I thought it was gonna, please have a bite. No. Please have a bite. <laughs> the <laughs> way you reacted, are you kidding me? Babe, are you kidding me? Babe, I need to, listen, listen we have very different <laughs> opinions of the tuna and maybe a lot of different opinions. <laughs> Definitely not. Please. I'm gonna agree with your opinion. I'm gonna say because of your response, I'm gonna believe whatever you have to say. Listen, do you know the, the listen, getting surprised eating something isn't that bad. But intentionally knowing you're about to put something disgusting in your mouth is horrible. You guys, that pickle, I don't know what was in that. It looks it look at it. It's literally it's been I thrown, ingrown. I can't entertain it. It's literally so nasty. Okay, sorry guys, that threw me way off. Ugh. Okay, hold on, I need to try the tuna one more time because okay. now I'm only thinking of the pickle. Okay, okay. And I just can't believe you don't like this. Well, by the way, that's another thing too. When I said dill, I didn't really think of it. You want to put an actual pickle in there and chop it up. So take another bite of this. <laughs> mm. All right. <laughs> mm. Tuna's really good. Mm. Okay, I want to say this. To anyone out there who loves Panera's tuna fish sandwich, kudos <laughs> to you. <laughs> no, no, but definitely, obviously, it's my opinion. Mm. I grew up a certain way eating it, you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm, I, that's how I like tuna fish. Do you like the, uh, I don't like it out of the can of just mayo and as it. And I do. You do. I do. I can't do it. Okay. I can't. I can't do it. It's it's terrible. So let us know whose tuna you like better. Yeah. Do you like it out of the can with some mayo and salt and would we'll call it a day? Yeah. Or do you like, listen, I like it like, like it him too, up. but I can enjoy tuna plain also. I can't do it. It's too fishy <laughs> tasting. It is. Oh. Okay, let's do a one to ten. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. One, two, two three, three, one. Eight. Eight? <laughs> Minus the pickle. That's Are you really kidding me? Uh -uh, I'm not getting it at What all. is Jimmy John's tuna fish? It's way better than that. No, those are, no, they're very, No. they're both very good. Oh, I can never trust your opinion again. <laughs> Except in that pickle. I believe you on that pickle. <laughs> I really want you to try the pickle. All right, I'll try Okay, it. please try the pickle. Okay, oh. super quick and we'll get to the other. Fam, I'm doing this for you guys. Two items. <laughs> please try the pickle because I need to know if I'm tripping. Okay, just but look at it. It looks time. spoiled. <laughs> it looks spoiled. Okay, you're getting out. Can you ready? No, maybe I'm tripping. You're not. Yeah, I, I I know you're not. And you know you're not tripping. Because if you thought you were tripping, you'd take another bite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, okay. You have to review everything. Okay. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, um, bruised and battered. Yeah, it's like they Aww. were, poor pickle. Oh, that was disgusting. Yeah. 
That was worse than a sandwich. It's spit, <laughs> it's spit out worthy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, it's so, nasty. I think what it is is okay. it tastes a lot like cucumber. Uh -huh. It's almost like it wasn't pickled enough, you know? That wasn't But then the there was problem. something else with it, too. Yeah. That was okay. bad. Okay. On to the salad, <laughs> and then we have dessert, you guys. Okay, cool. Let's okay, do this. Okay, okay, okay. Man. Um, do we need a fork? Yeah, we need a fork. And so far, okay, I will give you our, our final assessment. I'm already... Mm -hmm formulating my final assessment <laughs> okay this is the strawberry poppy seed here i'm just taking this yeah, out that's fine. yeah okay strawberry poppy seed um salad and it's see i think it's seasonal for summer um mm -hmm. never had it before but i did just see like the aroma of the fruit mm -hmm. here i'll do it Okay. <laughs> yeah, no problem. The aroma of the fruit smells really good. It does. And it has chicken in here, too. So chicken, pineapple, blueberries. Yeah. Um, looks like, you know, tangerine mm -hmm. and uh, strawberry. Yeah, it looks good. It smells really good, too, you know? Coffee I mean, obviously, with all the fruit and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm not a big fan oh, of... Too. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of, like, fruit and salad, you know? Neither am I. That's you why know? I don't get it. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Neither am I. But, I mean, it looks good. It looks delicious, though. Except for the uh, strawberry. Yeah, the one that you make that you yes. really like. <laughs> uh, I would take the top and then kind of... Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, do you want to shake it around? Here. Yeah, yeah, sure. We could do it. Why okay. not? Will you do it, please? Yep, no problem. Thank you. Oh, you grab, grab that? that? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, so, this is how we do our salads. Do you guys know about this technique? Like the Kardashians. <laughs> do they do this? Yes, they do. Oh, well, that's they where take I got it from. It from. Me. No, I got it from them. Are you kidding me? Yeah, no. I've been doing this forever. You mm -hmm. got it from me. Mm -hmm. So, I've been doing this forever. Babe, when we were younger, I did you this. Did not do it. Yes, I did. I used to do this all the time. We never really got plastic. Well, we never really got, I never really got salads for one. But if you had seen me, I'd been getting, I always did this. You know why? My friend did this when I was in high school oh, and I started okay. doing it. No. Yes. That's I how think I started, I started it. it. I'm telling you and right now. And you were now. like, oh, that's a good idea. No. I'm pretty sure that's no, exactly what happened. No, no. Okay. You digress. Case. I'm pretty sure I showed you. <laughs> but I got it from the Kardashians. In I'm, high school? No, exactly. It was That's when I started doing it. My friend started doing night school. I started doing it after him. <sighs> okay, let's try this. Okay, okay so right, you know. there we go. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Okay. Oops. You drop something, guys. But that's what I do. <laughs> Here we go. Hmm. Mm -mm. You don't like it? I hate it. Really? Yes. I don't mind it. What do you think? Um. I'm gonna try a piece of chicken. The fruit tastes really good. Yeah. Very fresh in there. Uh -huh. So that adds a lot to it. Oh, I yeah, I think you do have to be somebody who likes fruit chicken well fruit and salad and stuff like that and then to add the chicken is a little weird but i don't think i like the dressing mm, i see i actually like it a lot though actually it's a lot better than i thought it was gonna be really mm -hmm. okay well here you go are the walnuts candied or are they just I don't know, I don't know. basic but i think they're just basic it's just not my type of salad mm. You know? Are we opposite? <laughs> it's opposite day for us. Right. <laughs> it's opposite day. <laughs> for sure. Um, <clears throat> I like it. Okay. I like the dressing too. Good. I thought it was pretty good. Would you get it again? Um, yeah. Not in comparison to other salads. Oh, okay. I really like Caesar salads mm -hmm. a lot. Mm hmm. Um, I like Cobb salads. Mm. The, you know, fruit salads, I'm just not 100%, like I said, in love with them. But that's one of the better ones, though. Drew acts like he loves it. I do. Okay, I don't good. like apples. Uh, I hate apples uh, in salads. I hate that. Oh, I really hate that. <laughs> Anyways. I, yeah, I don't know what I... I think I don't like the dressing. I just don't... Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Got it. I'd rather have the fruit by itself. Mm -hmm. um, so anyways, yeah, I'm not I'm not a fan of that one at but all. But you like the tuna fish. Yeah, tuna's good. <laughs> okay, so let's do a 1 to 10 on the salad. Okay, let's do it. So you can see as we read it. Cool. One, two, three, Eight. three. Okay. A three. I know. Man. I know. It's crazy. You're, you're, that's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. But the tuna fish was an eight? Um, the tuna was so good. 
Oh, so good. Okay, Oops. you guys, okay. on to the last one, which is desserts. Okay. Okay, we got the cinnamon roll. Yay! By the way, guys, we had to move a little bit if the background's different. Uh, these people were doing a little bit of work to the right of us, so we decided to move. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, cool. So, um... This is a vanilla cinnamon roll. Vanilla cinnamon roll. I'm surprised we never got this before. I know. We've tried the cookies uh, and the scone, which was really good. Mm -hmm. And a couple of other things, but never the cinnamon roll. Yeah. Cinnamon roll. We have two forks, so we can probably try it at the same time. Okay, cool. So Let's I'm do it. So excited about this. Yeah, let me see if I don't want to... Let me see if I can take it out really quick so you guys can kind of take a look and see what it yeah, looks like. Yeah, we never had this, right? Never. Uh -oh. uh, maybe don't take it out. No, there we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. I made it. It's pretty big. I like the icing on it. Looks like it has plenty of icing. It does. It's a, it's a complaint I have about cinnamon rolls. Sometimes the icing isn't a lot. Yeah. And it smells really good, too. Let me smell it. Yeah, go right ahead. I do wish that um, mm -hmm. uh, we had asked for it to be heated up a little bit or warmed, but it didn't, wouldn't matter anyways because we had to eat all the other stuff first. <clears throat> So, Does it smell good? Yes. Okay. You can't smell it? I'm getting a weird vibe. Is your nose stopped up or no, something? No, it's not. That's I actually the fam's asking me. Because <laughs> there's some things like we'll be like, oh I can't smell it. Da, da, da. Oh, no, yeah. it's not because of COVID. We I can smell fine. Yeah. <laughs> and taste fine. But. Well you said a lot of times you said your your sense of smell isn't the best, right? It's no, my sense of smell is not the best, but that only yeah. means like I okay, yeah, it's not the best. Yeah. <laughs> but I can smell this. Yeah. And you can smell something's that. like I don't know. Got it. I we'll see. see this one just doesn't smell it great, too, is what you're saying. Yeah, it smells a little off. Okay. But let's try it. All let's right. see the vanilla cinnamon roll. Okay, here we go, guys. Mmm. 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 That's good. Oh. That's very good. It needs to be warm. Oh, that's really good. Or it should be warm. I'm definitely getting the lemon vibe in there, right? Because mm. I think with... Mm -hmm. Some cinnamon rolls, they do put like a lemon type of, some lemon in there mm -hmm. with the frosting. They do. Oh, that is good. It's flaky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cinnabon's um, recipe does call for like some lemon zest or lemon extract. Yeah. I forget which one. Mm. So there is a little hint of that in there. Mm. It's very good. You know, I thought this was mm. going to be kind of crumbly. Mm hmm It's not. No. It's flaky. Mm hmm I also thought it was going to be dry. It's not. It's moist. It's moist. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be way worse than Cinnabon. Cinnabon. It's it not. Is. No. <laughs> it is worse than Cinnabon. That's not worse, but it's just not Cinnabon. as good. It is worse than Cinnabon, but it's still okay. It's still very good. Mm -hmm, I mean, mm -hmm. honestly, like, I've had cinnamon rolls that are just, like, awful. Terrible. Just mm -hmm. horrible, right? Mm -hmm. This is actually a very, very good one. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm, I'm shocked I did, we haven't tried this before. Um... Panera, you know, usually does the upgrade for like 99 cents. You can get a pastry. Oh, yeah. That's worth it because that's huge. Exactly. So for only a dollar upgrading to for the to that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 100% worth it. Mm. That's good. This is one of the most pleasant things I feel like we've tried. Yeah. <clears throat> during this new today. food review that we never had from Panera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Okay, cool. Really good. We, I would recommend this. Should we rate it one out of 10? Mm-hmm. Let me think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. One, One two, two, three, three nine. Cool. Wow. Mm -hmm. Your taste buds are off too. Mm -hmm. Eight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a solid eight. Nah, it's good. For one. sure. That is, that's very good. Yeah. I'm just. Uh, I guess maybe like I was like so shocked. Mm. I wasn't. So, I was. I wasn't expecting it. I was expecting it to just kind of be kind of mediocre, mm -hmm. but it was really good. Mm -hmm. Really good. So out of all the items, including the smoothie, mm -hmm. what would you recommend to the fan? Okay, first off, the cinnamon roll. If, if you got to try any of these things, if you're not discounting sugar and stuff like that, mm -hmm. I would definitely get a cinnamon roll. That's like the number one thing I would say try. But if you are taking that off the table, if you're saying, hey, any of the food items, um, I would probably say, I guess I would say the, I'd say the grilled cheese. Okay. I'd say the grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. um, I think that to me was probably the, the best thing I think out of all of that. Okay. How about you? Um, I would say <clears throat> grilled cheese, as long as you get like soup with it, I think mm, it needs something. It does. But grilled cheese for sure. Yeah. Tuna for sure. Don't if do you it. like simple tuna. Don't do it. If you like simple tuna, it's very good. Yeah. <laughs> Comment down below. Let us know if you like the tuna from Panera. Or not. For sure. For um, sure. and then the cinnamon roll. Okay, then the cinnamon roll. Yeah. After that. I 
Yeah. So the cinnamon roll after the tuna fish sandwich? No, I wasn't going in any particular oh, oh, order. Oh, okay. got it, got no, it. No, I, I really like the tuna sandwich. Okay. So I need you to calm down on That's that. That's cool. I okay, mean, I would like... actually pair them together. They're very good. I have a tuna sandwich, tuna fish sandwich for lunch, and then for the dessert, have the cinnamon roll. Uh, you guys, it. don't listen to Kristen today. <laughs> Yes, Kristen is right a lot of times. <laughs> Today is not one of those times. It is. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. I'm teasing. Oh, excuse me. So, okay, cool. Overall, are you happy to have tried new things? I okay. loved it. I'm really yeah. happy to try to try it. And, and you too. know what? Maybe we'll go to some other places and try some stuff we haven't tried before too. Yes, if you guys like this, because I yep. think it's again, it's really good to get out of your comfort zone. Yep. Try new things. So, if you liked this review mm -hmm. of th new things we never had, comment down below. Let us know where you'd like us to go, and we'll go there. Absolutely. Okay, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Sharon is Karen. Let your friends really know what the Kate and Jay fam are doing. And until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night. Whatever time it is out there, we will see you in our next video. Mm -hmm. Peace. Ah, peace out, Trevor.